During our Farm Basics time today, we're going to talk a little about day length and how that can have an impact on crop yield. So just to give you a real quick example, I took a look at, all right, let's compare Fargo, North Dakota versus Houston, Texas on the longest day of the year, which is June 21st each year. So in Fargo, sunrise is 5.33 a.m. and sunset is 9.25 p.m. Whereas in Houston, Texas on the same day, sunrise is 6.22 a.m. and sunset is 8.25 p.m. So for Fargo, that's 15 hours and 52 minutes of sun each day, whereas Houston, Texas only 14 hours and three minutes. So that's a difference of one hour and 49 minutes at the peak. That's a lot more photosynthesis that could occur in Fargo, North Dakota. Well, when you look at the temperature though, Brian, in Houston, it's gonna be warmer on that day. I True. can almost guarantee you. So True. they might not be crying about a little bit less sun time and a little more uh, nighttime there. But uh, I do think about this in terms of crop production and so many people will focus on, well, how much heat are you getting? Heat is one thing, there's no doubt about it that heat can push things along or can stress out the crop. But how much sunlight that plant can get, that's really the job of plants to capture sunlight and utilize carbon dioxide to make grain or make yield at some point. So we do look at how many hours of sun there should be each day, but then the other factor that really enters in here is how much do we actually have each day? In other words, clouds. How cloudy is it? How thick are those clouds? How much solar radiation do we actually get each day? So these are some of the things that can absolutely impact crops. And very commonly, we get toward the end of the growing season and farmers say, you know, uh, my crop just isn't what I thought it would be or what it normally is. Well, these factors can make an enormous difference. And not just speaking about crops, but any plant that you want to grow, you'll notice if you watch plants closely, they will make some adjustments and changes based on the season and the time of day. And when we get to the longest day of the year, there are a lot of plants that will start making adjustments. They know, hey, this is kind of the midpoint of the growing season. I better start working on making sure I make seed. That's gonna be a really important thing. Other plants you'll see, well, when we get those long sunlight days, that's when they're blooming or that's when the blooms will follow the sunlight. There's all kinds of different cool things that plants do. That's why we enjoy growing plants so much and growing crops so much. Well, we also enjoy killing plants like our Weed of the Week. We're gonna talk later in the show about how to control this week's Weed of the Week. <music> 